I've been trying to use humor more and more. I've always wished I was funnier. And I heard this piece on NPR the other day, maybe you heard it, about um, this comedian, this White House, uh, she's White House advisor on religious affairs, or, but she's a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And um, she met this comedian, well-known comedian, I can't think of her name, and the and she basically heard the comedian talk and realized, she was giving a major speech, and but heard the comedian talk somewhere else, and realized that the audience had fallen asleep during her speech. Mm -hmm. And so she reached out to this comedian and she said, can you help me? Can you help me make what I have to say, which is a very serious topic mm -hmm. about Islam and you know uh, prejudice and discrimination. Can you help me to craft a really powerful speech? And, and it was a wonderful piece um, that I think I posted on my Facebook page because, you know, she incorporated a whole bunch of jokes, sort of self-deprecating humor, laughing at herself, laughing at prejudice, all of these kinds of things. And it was fabulous. And I thought, I need to do that. And I actually thought, I should reach out to that same comedian <laughs> and ask her to do it. I tend to not use jokes. I'm not a very good joke teller, but I do tend to use um, little funny moments that happened or to or to make a quick um, joke out of something that did just happen mm -hmm. you know um, so it's less of you know the the Arab walked into the bar mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of thing and more of um, uh, for example I'll talk about how my father wanted me you might have seen this but my father wanted me to be the CEO of IBM and then I'll make the um, the connection to the fact that you know he's still having to deal with the fact that instead of being the CEO of IBM, I'm getting arrested in the streets for civil <laughs> disobedience, and and it causes people to laugh. So I do say things that cause people to laugh, yeah. um, but they're you know, I guess that's a little bit of humor. I'd love to be funnier. Yeah, those, those things are relevant. In some ways, those stories help people to connect with your experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think that's I do use humor, particularly when I'm talking about myself. Um, as a way for people to get to know a little bit about me, but more than that, to connect them, to, to start to feel connected to me, because that's part of what I want to build at the very beginning, is some connection with people that this is somebody we want to listen to, and, and you know, she's interesting. I, I don't know what she's going to say, I don't know if I'm going to agree with her, but she's interesting. And another thing I'll do is, um, because I talk about controversial issues, I'll, you, you know, I'll say, um, uh, not everyone's going to agree with me, and I hope that if you don't, you'll ask me questions because I've been on Lou Dobbs, I've been on you know, Fox News, I've, uh, th I won't be nervous about the questions that you have to ask me if you disagree, things like that that kind of loosen up the audience a little bit to be more engaged.